Hey guys, Ben here from Aussie Living Homes and today I wanted to interview one of the most intelligent, hardworking, dedicated, good looking guys I've ever had the pleasure to meet. Unfortunately that bloke couldn't make it so I got Justin O'Hare instead. <laughs> Very funny. Yes, no I'm only joking. Um, I've worked with Justin for a couple of years, been a bit of a mentor, coach and a friend of mine. Um, but whenever people ask me what you do I really struggle to explain that. The only word I can come up with is that you're actually a wizard. <laughs> now, how would you explain what it is that you do? Yeah, so essentially what I do is I work with people's mindsets. So, you know, if you think of the, the body being a robot for the mind, um, whatever the mind tells the body to do, it does. So think about, you know, jump in the car, drive to Perth, and you think, I don't remember that last yeah. half an hour of the trip or middle of the trip. Um, you know, when you get up out of bed, you do the same kind of thing day after day. You press a snooze button three times and you get out of bed. Six and, times. Six <laughs> times, yeah. So, you know, we, we have the, the, the body is just responding to whatever we're thinking now. If you go back two, three, four thousand years ago, we're living in tribes, that was a really handy thing to happen. And it still really is, except that because we've grown up in a, a time where there's so much information coming at us between the age of, you know, zero and 14, um, you know, we can create sometimes habits that are not great for us. So a lot of the work that I do is working with people to let go of that stuff. Um, and then the second part of that is focusing on what they want. So um, our environment is uh, doesn't change, but the perce people's perception of that change is when you change uh, their mindset. It's a lot better than I ever explained it. <laughs> um, but one of the things I was interested in, and one of the reasons I wanted to talk to you, was um, we focused on a bit of goal setting for myself the other day. Um, and I put a poll out on my Facebook page um, just a couple of days ago, and it was, um, you know, who out there has the goal of getting into their own home in 2019? Mm. And a lot of people voted yes. Um, so what I was interested in is could your techniques actually help someone achieve that goal if they've got it in mind for, for this year? Yeah, 100%. I mean, I think the, the thing is, is that in our environment, there's somewhere between... Uh, 2 and 11 million bits of information trying to get in through our five senses every second. So if you think about 11 million toothpicks trying to get inside your head, I mean, you know, to, to comprehend it, I mean, imagine until I mentioned it, you didn't think about the feeling of your bum on the seat or your feet <laughs> yeah, before, right. right? So all of these senses are happening, but our brain um, deletes a bunch of information that it finds not relevant at the time to focus on what it thinks is relevant. Now, if, you're, uh, if you want to save for a home, and you're focused on not being broke, that's the wrong focus, right? So what will happen is in your environment, um, it will delete all of the information to keep you focused on what it is that your mindset is focused on. Now, it deletes down from that two to 11 million bits to 128. So imagine 11 million yeah, toothpicks right. trying to get inside your head. Yeah. It's picking 128 from your environment. So it's the same concept of if you're at a party and you're having a conversation with someone and someone from the other side of the room, there's 200 people in the room, but someone yells out, Ben, and your head spins around. Like, how did you pick that word out of all the other conversations happening in the room? And it's the same thing. If we can get that laser focus, just like you respond to your own name, if you can get that same focus on you uh, saving for home or, or getting into your home, everything in your environment starts to help that goal. Just like if you have, um, it's the same with anxiety. If someone has anxiety, they will find things that will make them anxious because that's what they're focused on. So it's getting that from that 11 million bits and getting you really focused in uh, on that one thing that you want. It makes sense. I mean, we did a session just the other day and um, I had my goals in place for this year. And it's strange how I'm now waking up earlier. I'm actually going for runs, which is insane. I haven't done that for <laughs> ages. And I've just got this, it's like an un unconscious focus. It's yeah. not like I'm thinking it every day. So if somebody had the goal of home ownership and was to even meet you and do a session, um, would you say that every single day, unconsciously, they'd still be working towards that goal, whether that's saving the deposit or, or whatever it may be? Yeah, so that's the process of the unconscious versus the conscious mind. If you think about, uh, most people have gone through the process of weight loss and joining a gym and all of that kind of stuff. And it's very much when you start that process, very much a conscious process of got to get out of bed, drag myself out of bed, drag myself to the gym, do the workout, feel sore for the next day, you know, oh, I want to go back and do this. Yeah. Very much a conscious process until it becomes part of a routine. What the techniques that I use allow us to do is bypass that really difficult part of it at the start and jump straight to an unconscious uh, competence, same as what you would if you've been going to the gym for three months, 
um, or saving for a home for three years or whatever it is, it just bypasses that, uh, that conscious drive and constant grind um, to become just part of what you do, the same as you get out of bed in the morning. Yeah, right. So if somebody was watching this and they do have this goal in mind, but they couldn't meet with you for whatever reason to actually do a session, are there any techniques they could use on themselves to have that little bit more sort of laser focus? Yeah. Well, there's a couple of things. I think that you know, if you if you know knowing what you want is the is the first thing. So once you know what you want, then you can start to focus in on that. A lot of people go, yeah, I want to buy a house. Well, what does that look like? What where is it going to be? How much are you going to spend? How many yeah. bedrooms is it going to have? And getting really specific with what you want. Um, Nat Fife is a big believer in, in visualization. He talks about it a lot um, from Fremantle. Good looking guys. Well. Very good looking guy. Um, yeah, lots of football players. Um, you know, a lot of the football clubs now are going in the path of NLP, which is the neuro linguistic program you're being um, trained in and trained people in. So lots of people going in that pathway because they see that if you can unconsciously get that confidence and confidence that you're going to achieve something, that you have a high success rate. So awesome. first thing is get focused on what you want and then uh, write down all the stuff that's actually stopped you from getting it in the past. Because a lot of people don't think like that. We, we go out and we go, right, I wanna buy a house, but we don't look at what's actually stopped us. I mean, the reality is for, and using you as an example, you know, the last uh, three or four months has been a bit harder for you in, in sales to work the attitude and belief yeah. you've got in yourself right now, right? It's, it's this real quick difference I've noticed as well. Yeah. It's amazing. So the first thing I think is, well, how is it possible that you you weren't doing that? Before we did the session, I'm thinking, how is it possible that Ben is not already that focused? Because you've got the skill, you've got the training, you've got the knowledge. It's just like food. Everyone knows we need to eat the right food. Everyone knows, knows we need to train, but they don't go and do it. So it's the, how is it possible? What's held you back? And then deal with those things, set up a, a, a bit of a plan of attack of how you're actually gonna deal with those things um, that have held you back in the past. Awesome. Now. I'm going to throw you on the spot here. Um, <laughs> I love well, the spots. <laughs> but if we, if I was able to get a, a group of people who actually was interested in this stuff and wanted to do a goal setting session around buying a home, maybe this year or next year, whenever it may be, mm. do you reckon you could help us out? <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, do you, mate, can you do group sessions for this sort of thing? Yeah, absolutely, you can. Yeah, I mean, we we quite often do a lot of group goal setting. Um, you know. If you think back to the stuff that we did with Ventura with you guys yeah. last uh, last year, similar kind of process. Um, yeah, look, I'm, I'm happy. I mean, for me, I'm really passionate about seeing other people succeed. I wouldn't be in the personal development industry if I didn't. So, yeah, look, I'm happy to do, if you can get a few people together that want to give it a go. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, you know, and I'm happy to show people the process of goal setting that I use that, um, you know, really transformed my life initially because I think it's important that you... You know, it's one thing to teach people something, but if you haven't actually experienced it yourself, it makes it a little bit difficult. So, yeah, we've got happy. Let's 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 do it. Yeah, we'll give it a go. Yeah. We'll throw it out there. Um, yeah. We're going to say a free event, right? Yeah, a free event. <laughs> I'm really pushing it now. Yeah, we yeah. can do that. We can. Yeah, you might. You can pay for that. Just <laughs> <laughs> right. add it to my bill. For yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, you heard it here first. Well, thank you, Justin. No worries, mate. We need Probably. to get a group of people together. Yeah. Um, how many normally for a decent session Does yeah really mean, you, the more people in the room the better energy you can get in the room so if you yeah. get sort of 10 10 plus into a room um the more energy i mean if you've got 10 people that really want to buy a house and that are all talking getting to know each other and that kind yeah. of thing about yep this is what i'm going to do the energy in the room lifts so yeah like, awesome all right so i'll try and get 10 people together we know the thing about try then we've had this conversation you don't say try i will get 10 people <laughs> i will get 10 people together um so yeah look we'll put it out there if you are interested, I guess you can just comment below or we can even create an event. Yeah, if I you suppose can, yeah, on if Facebook. Create an event on your page and we'll, we'll get See it. See you down there. All right. Good stuff. Thank you very much. Awesome, Justin O'Hare, what a man. <laughs> what a man.